So I was going to leave and I found out that this uh, 20 hours straight of rain turned my parking spot into mud and my truck ain't moving. So I thought I would make some biscuits while I sit here and camp out a little longer in the teepee. I don't have a Dutch oven with me so I'm going to make do with what I've got. These pots and pans here are going to form the cooking device and I'm going to start with flour, baking powder, and salt. So I've got my flour mixed up and somehow I ended up with gluten-free flour which means I have to add more liquid. So I'm going to add a little more butter than normal. And then I also don't have milk so I'm going to use some heavy whipping cream and water it down. I've done that before. I've done it with just heavy whipping cream and it really doesn't work well. You would think it would be nice and rich, but it didn't turn out. So I added the liquids and it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> it's feeling pretty good too, so uh, maybe it'll actually hold together after I cook it. It's hard to know with gluten free. And I got some decent coals there so let's see what happens so i got the biscuits in the blue pan raised off the coals by the metal pan and this holding coals for the top which is the only cast iron i have uh, but those coals are cooling off so i don't know Total cooking time of 12 minutes, so we'll see what happens. Okay, welcome back to the Wilderness Teepee Cooking Show. And by the way, say hello to my dogs. That's George. And there's Maddie. And there's Sparta. And it is now that magic moment. It's been, t oh, about 13 minutes, almost 14 of cooking. And we get to see if they baked or not. So first I'll slide off the coals so they don't fall in the food. Uh oh, got a peek there. Doesn't look like they're quite done. This thing's not even hot, I can still touch it. Alrighty, well fortunately we got some coals building right next to it. So I'm going to try to make this thing hot again and give it about six or seven more minutes. Stay tuned. Now we're talking. That cast iron pan should be way too hot to touch now. So here I go. I guess if they're not done, I can pile the coals back on. But I'm now going to remove the coals from the pans. And I need both hands, so I'll be right back. Well, <clears throat> I would say <clears throat> it's a success. I got some butter and honey on them. I got the fire a little too close to those. But uh, they're going to taste good. I'll just take that off. What do you think, George? <laughs>